Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you can see us. And the wolves. Looks like we all went to the same uh, eyeglass manufacturer. <laughs> Smart ass. Maybe we did. Elijah, I'm just wondering if you can, I think Sylvia's head's in the way. Can you see the face? Can you see the face in the picture, you guys? Like right there. No, you have to look in the picture. You can't see it when you look at the actual picture, but when you're looking at the reflection. In the, in the lake. I see it. To the left side of the three wolves. In the lake. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that, that's what Tracy gave me this. Her husband, who was in the movies in Vancouver, his best friend was Robin Williams. She gave that to me and I reframed it because it was cracked. So I got my buddy to reframe it. And the other day I was on it and look at that face right there, Sylvia. Yeah. And it's like, oh, no, you're good. You're good now. Wow. Okay. Well, now you've got this face looking at us the entire time. <laughs> what is it? your attention? I don't know what it is, but it's, I thought it was pretty interesting. Pretty cool. Elijah, to start off, I thought your videos were excellent. You said you were working with Jordan. Yep. So, you know, the way that you did those were so perfect. And then when you said, Lori, I just allow it to flow through me and just speak from the heart. It, it's fabulous. Well, that's great. It, I think I'm finally reaching a level of sort of comfort with what I got to sort of have come out, you know, it's uh Yeah. So I even myself, you know, I'm going, okay, now I got to create a video because Sylvia keeps saying that you got to create a video, Lori, and start doing some just free training. So it gets people inspired to learn more, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do along with you, I'm going to do a remedy every Every day might be a bit too much, so maybe um, third question Thursday or something like that. Like or online, you mean? Yeah, or for yourself? No, online. Perfect. In, in the in in the group. So what? Come up with a name. Well, call it something because we're doing Wealth Wednesdays with Lori. Okay. Wealth well, yeah. well, well, Wednesdays with Lori. I was just going to say Wednesdays with Maury because I love to, the book Tuesdays with Maury. Have you read Tuesdays with Maury? I did. It was great. That's where I got that idea from was Wednesdays with Maury. And then I don't have to stick to just wealth. But then we're saying, well, if we want to make money part of what we want to teach people about, then we put the word wealth in there. But my last wealth post was more about the inner wealth and the other wealth, not just money, right? Well, I, th I was thinking maybe Wealth Wednesdays with Wanda. Um, <laughs> Who's Wanda? <laughs> wicked, wicked Wanda. <laughs> go for the alliteration, you know. To... Oh, I really like that because, you know, um, Candace, when he, she did the map, remember we did that choice map? And now she does Let Your Light Shine 369. Oh, and very It's good. really cool. And so yeah. I'm thinking if we could get a jingle like that, Elijah, <laughs> would be key. <laughs> I used to say nine six three. I don't say three six nine. What do you say? When you talk about the triad, what do you say? Do you say nine three six? I go three six nine. Do I'm, you? I, <laughs> I go nine three six for some reason. I go from the steward to the learning to the. I got the, you. Yeah. Well, it could be because you're sitting in the nine chair. Maybe I'm sitting in the in the three chair. And yeah. Sylvia so, so starts with a six. Maybe. You can know, because we looked at the map today and we were looking, both of us kind of running the nine, right? Both stewarding together, joint stewarding. And then it took me down to the learning and Sylvia down to the six, which is the customer service, the warm person that keeps people. Yes. Yeah, so you've got the vision and... <laughs> I'll just make sure you're steering in the right yeah. direction. <laughs> She's going to keep me not letting in strays. <laughs> That's what Rob told her. Don't let Lori let in strays. No. <laughs> anyway. I, I think you guys have officially caught the inflow madness. <laughs> we're, I am so excited. So then I go, 963. I know Tesla says when you learn the magic. Yeah. Of 
six nine, you will learn the magic to the universe. So yeah. that's very powerful for me to hear that. So three, that's where three six three, nine, three, nine yeah. comes from. But I don't know. So like I like that jingle, right? Let your light shine three six nine. Let your that's, light let like, your light. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a that's, good it's a good I jingle. didn't even think of it as a jingle, but you're absolutely the right. jingle. The, and the reason I think of jingles is because when Cole did that court that um access communication show with me yeah and he did the kid show um making sense of sense mm -hmm. he says we need a jingle so a, a jingle in and a jingle out so i think that jingle is going to be key <laughs> so he said well, well that's 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 who you want to go to jordan jordan's yeah. jordan's your jingle man Jordan, we work together on Monday night. So oh, us, but, okay. Yeah, he's awesome. No, oh, so we can go to Jordan for the jingle. Okay. Because Elijah just said, well, Wednesdays with, with, with Wanda, because it kind of fits. Tuesdays with Maury, so I just thought Wednesdays with Lori. But yeah. then we got the wealth in there, and it got kind of boring. Wealth Wednesdays with Lori. Is it, it was so? Is that a show? It's going to be just something as far as posting on social media. We don't have the show going yet. The okay, show's... so it's just posting on social media. Just to start building up that momentum, right? Right. Well, is it going to be a video? Well, it could be, and it could be a post. It could be quotes. It could be something. But we want to start getting a... And our theme for the month of July is health and wellness. Okay, for the July is health. For this lunar... Yeah, this lunar is health and wellness. Right. So remember I told you we have those nine points of, um, yep. of, of life? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you got relationships, job, career, money, family. Okay. Yeah. Um, how are you guys for, for, are you, is the CEO summit still on the radar? Still on the radar for next year, but no work's been done. Nothing, not a thing's been done. We haven't even yeah. really talked about it. The CEO, <laughs> CEO summit. We talked about bringing all the CEOs of Saskatchewan together. Oh, wow! And take them through training. So we okay. Kind of like our entrepreneur thing we're doing with the kids, but with CEOs of right. companies. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> So, yeah. That was just you and I, and then we had to go through all the stuff we had to go through first, so it went on a back burner. Okay. Yeah, 22. 2022, yeah. Okay, and what about curriculum for the fall? Okay, curriculum for the fall, while well, we are designing right now, we're, yeah, we, yeah, we're just in the process, so we have the nine themes for the lunar, for the lunar month, okay, so... I would have to go grab those. That it helps me with them all. Oh, oh does he? Some of them, just read them. Right. But does he know what month we have? Oh, I don't know. Okay. 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 Yeah, do you guys figure it out which 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 ones in which order? Yeah. So yeah. Well, July is health and wellness. Okay. So I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, is it being, if I'm laughing, does it come across as being rude? Well, I, um, no, are you just laughing at the energy? Well, no, I, I mean, I'm, there's a lot of things I'm laughing at. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like just my sense of the ridiculous can sometimes come into the inflow matrix quite a bit because it's, him laughing he's just the energy that he's got and i have been hooked on this for a long time elijah i just didn't have pe the people to be hooked on it with like i have you i have that group we you started on the monday nights which really inspired me mm. but sylvia's here because she's really understand mm -hmm. starting to understand it okay so um july is health and wellness august is family September is career, job, mission, whatever. October is personal development. November is community slash volunteering. Uh, this 
December, I didn't see anything on the January. Right. Yeah. January is. Wait, what's December? Uh, we don't know, but it, it'll come up. Just a minute. So January spirituality, and February is money. So what's missing? December. No, but oh, what's oh, missing? Other thing, yeah. Self growth, self growth, and fun and happiness. Oh, fun and, fun and happiness. Okay. Fun and happiness. Oh, so. December's fun and happiness. Yeah. But I don't know why the why we. And March know. is March self growth. Oh, March. There you go. Okay. Yeah. 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 We just don't finish them. I think. Yeah, because we're doing them by quarters here. So, but that's weird. Unless she's got it covered up, maybe. Yeah, she's maybe. So, so that means April is back to health again. Yes, April. Yeah. You got it. And then it just continues around those nine. Right. Okay. When we get this freaking organized, holy sh. Because what we can fit in there in whatever element of mm -hmm. life fits, you can fit money into every single, every single one, one of those. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, if that's what we want to talk about and looking at money differently. Yeah. Okay. So, so what I should probably do, I don't know if I said this last time, but I should make a nice map to show like a year. To, to give the framework for your year and then use it, then that can be the beginning of you having your curriculum sort of online and in, in page format where people can sort of see the full year. And then yeah. you can sell sort of programs that are sort of like, here's the whole year program, here's the th you know three month program. And, and then we've broken it down into uh, the four spaces after that, didn't we? We quarters, but well, like what kind of like quarters you mean? But, yeah, you like mean? each one is a quarter, and then it's sort of like one week is personal space, then one on one space, oh, then community. Yeah. Then... yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we forgot right. about that. Yeah, so we... then you then you narrow it down more into what what is happening, and then you can look at okay, well, do we have speakers? Do we have course yeah. courses? So you can really design your week then from this. Yeah. Like right. Even right health and wellness is here and I'm going no Smith naturopathic doctor I could do a Facebook live talk with him yeah yeah oh yeah that's what just we to introduce him as... Michelle Shabatowski I could do a talk mm -hmm. with her on there yeah oh yeah I see okay hey what's going on with the banner did did you print it or is it not good enough uh, what's we're still just Think about it. I told the guy that's going to make it, I said, just put us on hold for now because we're doing some planning within the business. We don't want to rush and spend because it's not cheap. We don't want to rush and spend the money and then go, oh, we should have done it this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the, it was the Conversation Cafe on there. Mm -hmm. But then Because I sent you about eight different versions, right? Like, did you so just send eight of them? I'll grab. I saw the real flashy ones. Anyway, it's the beginning of, there was kind of like the, everything, like the, the conversation cafe was the biggest thing because I think that's that's the draw. Um, you? And then it's a matter whether you want quotes. I, then I put the hub and then I had the one with leadership, uh, the, the the leadership thing. So then it's it's up to figure out like, okay, what kind of background you want? Okay. And do you want quotes? What are the quotes? Do you want to have services? What are the services? I, I would think like quotes are services. I think services okay like when he says you break it down and do oh, okay so this one oh but this is written twice so she's just showing me on her phone okay yeah yeah i don't know why it's written twice but um i don't know it's you know, like they're just really close so so that that's one mm -hmm. and that i see two, yeah right so we really like this one the world headquarters okay with the hub in the middle Okay. And then the real flashy ones, I like the second one better. Or I didn't like it. Like, no, she doesn't like the flashy <laughs> ones at all. Okay. So we, yeah. You just yeah. like the simplicity of the white, because. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So then, just just for on my end, um, okay. maybe send send back the one you like with whatever upgrade, whatever you want to have on it, and so that, that we'll just go to the next step on that process. All right. Well, that's, you know what? This is great, Elijah, because if you put this into that nine month lunar calendar and then we start working on that, and then mm -hmm. here's now what you need to break down from there and there. And yeah. This is coming up. Next month is coming up, and we're already in order. Yeah. No, this is the big missing piece for you guys. 
Okay. Um, and then we can design the programs and then we can design the input, the, the input pro process around this. Yeah. So I'll, I'll make this a, a priority uh, okay. to, to get this yeah. done ASAP. Yeah, and I, I said to Sylvia, maybe what we do for a bit here is we do our joint meetings like this as we're as a team. And we go, let's start really doing these joints. And then if we need to break up, because fine you're going to yeah. fine tune up, Sylvia, you go work with Elijah. If Lori needs to fine tune, she goes and works with Elijah. Just till we get a foundation built. Okay. Okay. That's why the nine keeps coming up for me, is because the nine is the steward holding the vision. Well, I guess, yeah, and I guess in this situation, if we were uh, slow to be six, I'd be the three. Yeah, exactly. Like if we're operating from that. But okay. I'm, 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 I'm trying to, like, I guess, like, I can be a space holder because um, yeah. I can hold a lot of spaces. But the idea is that I'm setting you guys up to, to be on your own, eh? Like, I'm, I, right. I, I'm sort of, because I've got so many different projects and products, I have to be very careful about yeah. where, where I'm, how much I put into each project in a sense. Yeah, I don't blame you because I, I like I fit into the learning as well. Oh yeah, you know so yeah, this is good, Elijah. If you will do that, to hold that space for a bit, and then you'll spread your wings because you're over here, and then we're gonna. Because you know what Kaylee said to us the other day, it was really interesting. She goes, "I see the Visionary Hub being an academy that teaches other people this stuff, and you go through whether it's forty nine ninety nine, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, whatever it be." It takes people through, and this is what's included in that bundle. And then you go out there to your work environment and your environment, Amazing. and you teach it. Yeah, for sure. It, it's meant to be passed on. Yeah, I don't like the word academy, but if we could think of a really cool something like that. Well, well I mean, I don't know what I was thinking about this because it's kind of like I'm going to have the school of conscious communication. Yes. And that's yes. that's what teaches the, the tools of the new paradigm toolkit. And so then once the people like and there's originators, there's administrators, teachers, facilitators, students, and clients. Mm -hmm. So right now, the Visionary Hub is actually a client of the School of Conscious Communication. Yeah. But, but because of the training program and the way this works, that you guys can be teachers in the School of Conscious Communication if you choose, if you choose to be, in a sense. Yeah. So, so you can learn the stuff and be a teacher on your own. Or you can learn the stuff and participate more so like within the infrastructure that I'm building. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's it's like there's always this balance between, you know, how much is like here's your stuff, here's my stuff, here's our shared stuff. Yeah. And how much, you know, you want to take tools you want to run over here, fine, go do, you know, blessings mm -hmm. on whatever you want to do. Or there's these other things going on here, and if you want to participate too, or whatever the thing can be like we can like the idea of the shared knowledge community is that we create these product teams and we create these different ways of interacting that are maintain the autonomy of the people but allow you know as much collaboration depending upon what kind of like agreements and how far you want to go with it in a sense that's what i like because we're building a team and we can feed off of each other as you just said touch in with jordan he's a jingle guy okay. yeah so we're the visionary hub Lori and sylvia are the visionary hub which is part of the School of Conscious Communications. Well, it'd be like you would be, because you're licensed in Saskatchewan yeah. for the New Paradigm Toolkit, um, you're also, let's say, licensed teachers in the School of Conscious Communication. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. So okay. you yeah. can still, like, it's kind of like, because I believe at some point there's going to be like hundreds of thousands of people coming to just my space to get the stuff, but then you're going to have your own coming from your end. Mm -hmm. of clients yeah. so yeah. i think at some point we're going to be a little bit over uh extended because no, <laughs> there's, there's, there's not that many teachers yeah. and a lot of people out there i think we're going to want to learn this at some point they want to be the students okay yeah because i mean if we're essentially let's say we're just if in its simplest form let's say we're teaching someone how to make a hundred dollars an hour yeah yeah just that that yeah. that by itself is like huge lineup at the door Right? <laughs> like, like people go to university again, you know, for four years, spend 30 grand and they were making 25 or 30 bucks an hour if they're lucky sometimes. Exactly. So that alone is big. Just that. Yeah. Let alone what they're actually learning. And then again, whatever they learn, it's like you learn a map, you learn one map. Yeah. You can then teach that map for the rest of your life to as many people as you want. Like the amount of leverage that you get in each map that you learn. And then all the maps connect together, then the maps can be custom designed, the map, you know, blah, blah, you know, it's just endless. The amount of 
products now that will be coming through, yeah. it's, it's, it's overwhelmingly endless. And then it will still like, you'll see that you can create your own card sets. You can create your own maps. You'll, you'll be having your own knowledge codified within the structure. And then that's, you know, to me, that's how each person at some point gets, gains their financial independence because they've come up with their cards. They come up with their specific program that they then can, again, teach to others or have hundreds of thousands of people go to whatever you're doing. Exactly. But we all have each other to come back to through the school of conscious communications to say, okay, now what? What are you guys seeing out there in the world that is needed or that we can come together and create something else for the world together because we're all trained teachers? Yes. Like La Ciel, let's say, for an example, you know, they're over in that part of the world doing something. Someone's over there, like you're the common denominator. Yeah. And you're only one human being. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, Elijah. Like I am such a team. Like I like working with teams of people uh, that are on the same page. Yeah. And that's hard. Eh? Like the more the more you get this, the more you realize, okie dokie. Yeah. There's not a lot of pages here. There's a lot of pages here. Like <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things not that many people. So so can we look at what I said what I sent you today? Did you print that out? Oh, you did. Okay. Do um, you see that they all fit together in, in, uh, okay. okay. So we got your individual inner outer inner outer. Okay. Yep. Okay. So how about, um, no. we're going to do a, you want to do a super reading? Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. So how about, how about write down for each of you write down two questions. Okay. Um, and how about Sylvia, you do the. Okay. Okay. S Sylvia, you do the outer you and the inner group. No, no, no. Sylvia, do the uh, synergy and the harmony side mm -hmm. questions. And Lori, you do uh, choice and flow question. Okay. So come up with one question each. It's kind of a missing thing in terms of your current business process, too. Like what's what what's the big what are four big missing pieces and find a question for each one oh okay Do we need values cards? Um, yeah, it's good to have all the cards I think available if you. Mm -hmm. I think we'll we'll start. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We need a bigger table. We do. <laughs> okay. Sylvia, you've been holding such fabulous energy for this group and where we're going in the world. You have no clue. No, I don't. You have no clue. <laughs> she really, she really does, Elijah. I know. Even Penny's um, here today, and you don't know, haven't met her, but um, she said, "Holy cow, it's Sylvia holding energy and a vision." She goes, "Lori, this, what you guys are doing here, is going big, big to the world." And she's known me for twenty years. She knows the work we've done and. She kind of agrees with our decision and staying partners together for yeah. now. She agrees with that. She says, because you two have been working on this for so long. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 
it just tells it it just tells us that because it's new people to learn right now where we're striving still trying to ground ourselves so okay this is cool elijah i saw what you did with tyson the other day and i'll tell you that kid is he's already done two maps in saskatoon oh, oh he has yeah with his aunt and um, his cousin and how did that go he said it went really well and he was asking me about this you know the six levels you keep going silly sorry but the six levels i'm holding the vision yeah mom can you just explain that to me a little bit more so i give him just a brief on each section and then i emailed it to him and i said tyson you'll tweak it as you go but he just needed the base because you made him cry elijah because he said he pulled some values and he wasn't even in his heart of hearts because he's been in such a shitty place in the world right mm. oh no, that was that's beautiful. Okay, I got your questions. I don't have four. No, no, you you yeah, but you have to come up with one for community, one for synergy, and Lori's coming up with one for flow and one for choice. Oh, okay, two of us. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, then that works. Okay, so which <laughs> cards do I need, Elijah? What's that? Which cards do I need? Right. Um, we're gonna need the choice for the choice, flow for the flow, synergy for the synergy, and harmony for the harmony. So now, just to give a bit of an explanation about this, these maps. Did did you take a careful look? Did you look at each circle and look at what it was? Yeah, look, I'm looking at the individual behavior. I'm looking at the flow, and I'm seeing the relationship to the inner world, and then relationship to the community. I did see those. I haven't looked at the. I haven't looked at the inner me though yet. Okay, just just look. Actually, if you want, you can read it out. But uh, I mean, Sylvia's already taken a look. Oh, okay. So individuals in a world, 1A, an individual's in a world relationship to their full potential self. The same thing again for their individual behavior, then their relationship to the team, and then the relationship to their community. Okay. And then that individual's behavior, behavior, the other one was in a world, to relationship to the inner world, relationship to others. Relationship to the team and relationship to the community. This is beautiful. Okay. And then the synergy, of course, is the relationship to the individual's inner world, individual's behavior, individual to other teams and relationship to community. And then the outer group is the individual's relationship or the community's relationship to the individual's inner world, the community's relationship to the behavior, the community's relationship to the team, and the community's relationship to community and you got your in the background holy shit that's cool oh, oh there's the water tower. i saw the water tower it's it, yeah it's the beginning of, i i the other ones aren't custom designed like the outer you could have a picture of you Lori, and, and you could have a picture of you sylvia so you could have your own picture there right, to, okay. to, to denote you right or right. you could custom design it for your clients or whatever okay. um so do you get the pattern there yeah, yeah. oh boy do i ever so you've got the the inner you, you got the behavior, you've got the the team, you got the community, and then the relationship of those four to each other. So we're talking with the basic; these exist, right? Wow. These, these are the primaries that exist, but are never sort of spoken about or okay. sort of mapped out. Isn't that the truth? So so when you do a reading, then uh -huh. is 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 your if you do the whole thing, it's, it's like the mother of all readings. Like if you have one issue yeah. and you're with a client and you go, okay, let's look at one issue. And then you turn over all these cards, you are going to get about as concise and comprehensive uh, uh, an evaluation okay. of whatever it is. Like if you're talking about homelessness or you're talking about, you know, the water supply, or you're talking about, you know, how does your business do? If you're talking about the groups, uh, connection to the rest of the world, whatever their problem is, their biggest like problem. Health in the world, mm -hmm. oh, you know. Oh, great. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So then, you can. What we're going to do right now is again what you can do with them. You can just say like, what is your biggest issue at, at each of these places? Mm -hmm. What What is a missing link? What knowledge do you need? What you know? What Generally, you have to work with the biggest things that are on their mind, right? That in that moment, they need help with. Yeah. So why don't you tell me what questions you got? Do you want to go first, Lori? Yeah. 
So in my choice map, I said, what wisdom do I require to build the confidence knowing how big the visionary hub will be out to the world? <laughs> For the school of conscious communication. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. You want to say that question again? So what wisdom do I require to build the confidence knowing how big the visionary hub will be in the world? And, and as of now, working with the School of Conscious Communication, I'm going to say, rather than just saying Elijah, working with the School of Conscious Communication. Okay, that's, that's getting the sentence pretty long. What wisdom do I require to build the confidence knowing how big the vision is? I'm just, okay, okay, we can go with that. Um, flow, what's your flow question? My full question is, what is it that I need to bring forward for me to take the visionary hub out to the world with my partner? Okay, what do I need to bring forward? With more my forward, own forward in me? Yeah, yeah. Forward for me to take the visionary hub out to the world with Sylvia. I'll say her name, not my partner. Yeah. Okay. And synergy question? Okay. Uh, how do we get the info matrix out to the world and use it internally? Or I guess, now how do we use it more day to day or internally? And then how do we get it out into the world and with an online presence? So the, okay, so how do we get the info matrix internally? Mm -hmm. Right, to use it more day to day. Yeah. Okay. And then how do we get it out online um, in an online presence, the matrix to the world. Oh, that's good. Okay, just a quick question. Have you guys organized your file folder file folders in your computer yet by the uh, Synergy lenses? No. You know, I had it, uh, uh, I have it laid out like in Google Docs, but I'm not sure if that's how I do it, so I'll send that, but I have to. Okay, I, I mean, do you know one thing, if you, you know your bookmarks, right? The, along the top of your uh, browser bar, yep. and you you can have file folders there. Yeah. You can actually put the use the flow wheel and the synergy wheel and the harmony wheel if you want, and put that as the main file folder. Let's say you put synergy wheel, mm -hmm. and then you you put in 3.0 communication, 3.1 research, 3.2 infrastructure. Three, those are your file folders. Okay. Okay. So then what you can do is you start to look at how do you organize your online information? Like where do we, where do you put all your websites and all your favorite things or your input? Like again, like your banking would go into infrastructure, like all your, then you look at your other folders mm -hmm. of all the stuff you use and now reorient it into those 10 folders. Oh. And, and then what you're gonna start to see is, you know, oh, this is banking. This is like, then you gotta have subfolders but the subfolders are more a little bit custom designable for you to go, okay, well, what, how would I organize these kind of things? Yeah, I see what you mean. Okay. So then the learning that we have or the maps we have to work internally here would all be under the synergy, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3? Um, well, that's, it's a good question because it, it depends. You might, you might go 3.5 creativity mm -hmm. yeah. products, and then new paradigm toolkit, and then card sets, maps, game boards, processes, and software. Okay, so anything linked to that. Yeah, okay. then goes in there. Yeah. And then that's on your browser, but then you you want to do that on your file folders inside your computer too. So when yeah. you go into your documents, mm -hmm. you can go inflow matrix, and then you go choice wheel, flow wheel, synergy, harmony wheel. And that's like what you're going to see, because I'm playing with the software program now is, is you know, we're, we're basically playing with a very advanced file folder system. The a whole, very, a very advanced file folder system. And, and we're dealing with like tons of levels, like we're going into a multidimensional kind of universe. Yeah. Yeah. And file folders is how we organize information. And yeah. so you you have most people will organize their file folders through 
sort of content driven. They'll have documents and then they'll have, you know, maybe not that many. We're going to have a lot. <laughs> like I have a lot of documents on my computer or pictures or whatever it is. And the, if my main organizing is like, let's say off of documents, I have the flow wheel, but my main organizing is 2.5 products and 2.6 relationships. So that's where nearly all my stuff goes. It's either a pro it's either a product or it's linked to a relationship. So then you go in your relationships, you can go, uh, you break that down into members, allies, customers, mm -hmm. and then you break those down into the potential probationary, active, inactive, dying and dead. Mm -hmm. So that's the movement again, like from potential customer to, to active you move the folder over oh, okay. but what you're doing is you're, you're creating these sort of uh, pathways in your head as you sort of you know create these file folders of where things go and because you guys will share the file folder system as it gets more complex and as you figure things out that's where you're you know you're, you're going to have a lot of um conversations about s sorting things right yeah. it's like where do things fit well, we've already talked about that, even just the physical stuff in a filing cabinet here. Yeah. Even in a filing cabinet, it's not like that. Well, and, and then in the filing cabinet, mm -hmm. I would color, I would go to, to um, Staples and actually get the 10 colors. So then, mm -hmm. then you go 3.0 research is purple, 3.2 infrastructure okay. is blue, 3.3 yeah. learning is aquamarine. So then now you're using your, your filing structure with the same things. And then, then that'll help you to figure out going, okay, well, here's all our marketing stuff. Here's all our, our yeah. learning stuff. Here's so, so this is a huge piece, which I think I should have told you a long time ago. <laughs> so 10 colored file folders, I think you're exactly right. And then what's the 10th one? What color would that be? The, which one? The 10th one. Because the 10th one, one is the, is light green with communication. Oh yeah, okay. Light green. The operations is more darker green. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Communications and conversations. You're right. Okay. You know what? We're gonna get that done because I think okay. Wendy just asked me today. She goes, Lori, I know you've asked me to organize that filing cabinet drawer. She goes, I don't know where to start. She said. Yeah. Yeah. That's just right. today. Now that makes sense. I think doing it like that for me. Right. Like seeing it physically and then going, okay, now we need to take that and put it into a, the computer. Yeah. Oh. So, so what you're doing is you're aligning your offline files, your computer files, yeah. your browser files. And then at some point I've got a project management system for you. That's waiting called break that I've it's oh, yeah. color coded okay. along the same way. So then we've got an online project management system that fits in the same language structure. And okay. then so it's, it's like bits and pieces of you getting more organized because as you get more organized, then you can bring more people in and then you're teaching them the system and then they're paying you. And then yeah. now they're becoming teachers and you just get more and more sort of organized. So Elijah, just Penny's here today and she's always got insight when she gets her because she's of a higher dimension as well. She says, what about the girl, the billionaire in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan? I said, the billionaire? So her company is called Cloud Floor? Flare. Cloud Flare. C-L-O-U-D-F-L-A-R-E. And it's a, it seems to me like it would be like a Chrome or a, a search type of thing that is, has got lots of security in it. She sold it to a San Francisco company for a billion dollars. She's from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. That's where I moved from to come here. So I'm going like, how do we connect with someone even like her right? that they yeah. so big? Well, you she can would, just, you can phone her up. Reach out. She would be intrigued with this. Just phone her up, make an email, like a, make a video, like, like it's just get, get creative in terms of content. Like you see a person in a magazine, you know, Touch you like, just contact them. Yeah. So she's in Prince Albert. So I, um, you know, there'd be a content connection right away to say, that's where I moved here from. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you find out. Okay. So anyway, I thought I just had to put that out there because okay. she's been here now. Billionaire. I think she's late 20s. Well, I'm going to say yeah, early, early 30s. Yeah. Jeez. No. Okay, let's get to answering these questions here. So, how about 
uh, you shuffle the cards, uh, Lori, for the choice and the flow, and then you do that for the synergy and the harmony, uh, Sylvia. Yeah. Okay. And then just place them. Yeah. So five spots: one A, one B, one or one. Yeah. Okay. I like this, Elijah. Shut up, Lori. All right. I like this because all three of us are here and Sylvia and I are doing this together. That yeah. gets us on a path. If we're going to be sharing the nine role together, right. we need to carry our vision forward together. together. Because yeah. Lori's going to get it to envision up there. I already see it way, way into the future. Right. I'm right. getting oh, you so, know, so, Sylvia's <laughs> a reality check. It's it's not cold in here, so she's getting okay. hey, back. Yeah. Even when you were talking about that millionaire girl, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. the billionaire, the billionaire, yes, freaking millionaire, yeah, yeah, billionaire. <laughs> then the money system changes. <laughs> Billion means nothing. Okay. This is really cool. I really like this, Elijah, because it kind of reminds me if you were doing the hub, fa hub factor map, the, the one that we have out there. It would be similar because you're putting a question at each of the 12 spots. Yeah. Yeah. So one well, human being can well, come th in. This would be good with four people from an organization, yeah. right? If you invited, let's say, five groups of, of four, five groups of orga organizations to come to bring four people each, and then to sit around this, and then they have a discussion around their own problems. Like that's. Oh, that's oh wow. You could charge even if you charge you know 50 bucks each that's 200 you could make you know a thousand dollars in in a couple hours yeah that's something you know what i like that idea because it's individual people that work in organizations and where are you going to find those individual people you're going to find them in the organization a lot quicker than you're going to go out there and find them individually like we did for dinner yeah right no for sure like just five phone calls and say Hey, you know, we're, we have a conversation at cafe. It's very specific. You know, we can make a little video and a sort of a product chart. And um, again, then that could be kind of like maybe a once a week thing yeah. that builds momentum once you sort of like, like what, once you've done a few of these things a few times, I, I, my guess is you're going to, you know, word is going to spread, right? Oh, well, that's exactly what yeah. happened. So when I think, yeah, I get a, uh, yeah, I get what I got to build here for you. You need a. Uh... Okay. 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 So, do you want to go, uh, Lori? Yeah. So I'll start with my center choice is want ah. to feel a wish for something in the present moment. Okay. And then my one A is window. Period of time regarded as highly favorable for initiating. That well, makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then my 1B is soul, the divine self, which is human beings connection to spirit. And then the 1C is impact, the effect or impression oh you make on another. Oh, this feels so good. Mm -hmm. And then cause, the source of an oh, effect, yeah. the originator of what has come to be as the individuals world out to the community. There's a bigger cause than this, Elijah. It's yeah. not just about a billion dollars. No, Way bigger. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, I like. <laughs> do, do you want to sort of speak about the relationship between what's underneath and the choice lens? So, so my individual, my relationship to my full potential self, there's a window and a period of time which we're in it. So there's no second guessing anything because the window of time is here right and now. right now. Okay. I'm the middle one. The inner world of being want to feel a wish or something in the present moment. So the want and the window, to me, just collaborated right together. Um, it's my soul. It's divinely known in my connection with my spirit. If I listen to it, or as I listen to it, and then the one C, my relationship to the team is the impact that it's going to make. And then out to the world is the cause, the bigger cause to the community. Yeah. Yeah, wow. this is crazy good. So now if you now relate that to your question. Yeah. On so, what wisdom do I require to get the confidence? So do you feel that you just received the wisdom? Oh, I just uh, received the wisdom. 
I, I, I have the want. I've got the window, which is the right time. I need to listen to my soul to create the impact and take the cause out to the bigger picture. <laughs> Holy. Wow. Okay. Of all okay. those cards. Yes. Yeah. This is what's big is all those cards and those ones showed up. Okay. So flow well, map. What? Yeah, I take a photo of that. Um, flow map now. I really, this is really cool, Elijah. Yeah. It's very powerful. Okay, so now flow. So the center is my behavior, which is moment. <laughs> so a specific point in time, especially the present oh, time. So look how that goes with the want and the window. <laughs> <laughs> so my want, my two A is my relationship to to the my inner world is values. Oh, yeah. So the ideal. The ideal customs institutions of a society towards which people of the group have an effective effective regard. Holy wow. That's the big part of all of this going to the world. To be is my relationship to other individuals is flow, the natural way of connecting to the flow of the universal life force without thinking. I connect automatically. I said to Sylvia today. Don't call me a promoter, but call me a connector. It elevates me. Okay. And then the Wait, did flow just go in where the behavior behavior is? Relationship to other individuals. That's the flow. Yep. Yeah, I know. And then to see being my relationship to the team is relationships. Duh. Yeah, person two. And then the last one, which is relationship to the community, is the flow. Oh, a yeah. truth known by actual experience or observation, something known to be true. Wow. You say a fact? Okay, fact was there? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now to ask the question, what do I need to bring forward in me to take the vision I have with the into the world? What do you see? What's what's your answer there? What I'm saying is in the moment, like right now is the time. <laughs> Values are going to be very important, and I know it's values for me, but it's also sharing these values with others through flow and connecting in with other individuals, and then building those relationships with that, that this works, this is what it's done for me, that type of thing. Yeah. Wow. Holy. Wow. Right. Okay, let's see. I'm excited for this part, too. We'll okay, synergy. Synergy. Okay. So the middle one is services. So the team, right? The team. The subdivision that provides the primary primary services to the system's customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And individual inner world operation. Oh. The subsystem that organizes the system's internal activities. <laughs> inner group. That's exactly yeah. what she does. Team okay. trans. Oh, sorry. Let's do this one. Three D. Oh, yeah. Okay. Relationship to it. In relation relationship to an individual's behavior. Marketing. Wow. The subsystem that organizes the attraction of potential customers to the products and services of the system. Oh my God. What did we just talk about? That's cool. Okay. Transformation is. Relationship to other teams. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Oh, transformation. That that's going to be huge. Oh, we we'll put all this together. And relationship to community is memory. Oh, okay. The subsystem that organizes the collective experience huh. of all the mm -hmm. events of the system and its environment. That's cool. Wow. I like that. So, an answer to my question. How do we get, how do we plan and get the inform matrix out or, and to use it internally is with, yeah, like the services, make sure we have services for ourselves and the customers, operations are intact. Are intact yeah. Oh. And the marketing that we, we change our behavior and be more, um, focused and intentional for our marketing. I think intentional is, is really good 
transformation, the more we're out there and sharing with the team, um, it'll transform us just by transforming them. Like it'll be, it'll be huge. And then the memory. I like the word experience of all the events that happened. Wow. And the internal. I, I might add that the marketing is to the individual and the tra the team is getting transformed. So it's kind of like, oh, okay. it just seems that most, like I thought marketing would be to the teams, not to say that you wouldn't, but um, it's just interesting, right? Like you either market to the individual or you market to organizations or you market to like whole community and the memory of the whole community. I mean, that's, it's that's, like, that's, like, that's, that's where the transformation is kind of like, we're coming in with a new way of organizing knowledge. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then we just talked about getting five groups of people, of organi five organizations and bring mm -hmm. four people from each organization. That's total That's transformation. Right yeah. Like, and, and if you followed, let's say that, I mean, if you're looking at health, yeah. um, that's wow. maybe where you start, like get five health organizations. Okay. And yes. so each, each, then you get five families, then you get five people who are looking, you know, 20 people who are looking for careers and jobs. Then you get five who are doing personal development. Oh my gosh. Right. So so that could be once a week at the group space mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Where where you're repeat the same, you're getting 20 people. Let's say you're charging $50. Let's say it's two hours. Yeah. That would make a grand. Um, if you wanted, you know, maybe for for depending, maybe personal development might be a hundred dollars. Like, you got to figure it on your own. Like yeah. I I think. I think it's a lot more valuable to organizations. So, I mean, even if it was 50 each, that's $200. Yeah. You're charging $200 for a couple hours. That's nothing for an organization. Oh, for uh, right. You could even go 100 each. You could charge 400, you know, or the first one you charge 50 and then the second one you double it, you know, 50% off because it's the first time we're doing it kind of thing, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. That's a great one. Oh, yeah. And that's kind of like, again, looking at your your weekly schedule and you're looking at your timing and, and we'll go back to what I started with, with each of you having to go, okay, how many hours do I want a week? Do I want to work? Yeah, um, right. Which, which days am I working? When are we bringing in facilities? Cause you guys can set things up for other people to make money, right? Like once you got this going, you know, it might not take it. You could bring, you know what I mean? You have to decide, you know, how much money do I want to make? what time during the week am I making that money? And then we're, then we put together, okay, what programs can we bring in here like this one? And this one could be maybe, you know, Sylvia is the point on this one, depends on who's the point. And if you're both there, somebody's with the point with an assistant that you, you know, I think you both need assistance or a couple of assistants that are helping you. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the younger ladies who are very hyped about this at some point, I think each of you should kind of have a couple of apprentices that you're, those are like the ones you're really bringing on board. So I just said to those girls yeah. today because they want to start a business together. Kaylee's working with Tamara, the two of them, and Tamara's organized. She's a type three. She's got everything, and Kaylee's got all the ideas, throwing them out there. Well, she's keeping Kaylee organized, but Kaylee's got the big ideas. And I said, you two women need to start a business together. And they go, that's our goal. And then I said, can you imagine? You guys have your business independently. We have ours independently. And how our age, 40 years difference in age, and how we can work together and show the world. How we can do that? Yeah, I could in a minute. Oh, uh, have you ever thought of having, let's say, uh, let's say a single mom's, let's say a single mom morning, let's say two, three times a week, mm -hmm. the, the kids go upstairs in that big room with some oh. facilitator. So, so the kids go play. The moms are downstairs working. The, the kids are close enough. And so the mums, and then you're focused on helping the mums with entrepreneurial things, you, you know, again, teaching them to be the facilitators or whatever, so they can come, you know, to the hub oh. once or twice or three times a week to, to learn, to, to, to find a way to make money, right? Like there's, there could be a lot of mums that are on the brink of poverty that, you know, they're very smart. They just don't know how, they don't know how to get out of their, their bind. Yeah. So you could yeah. give it, you could give a talk for single mums how to be an entrepreneur and schedule that, let's say for the beginning of September and then have a program that follows up and that, you know, you just got to have enough time, right. To sort of fill these things and, and um, get the right brochure and stuff like that. Um, 
but maybe you can get like Kaylee to come up with all the marketing stuff for each thing or yeah uh, I can help a little bit yeah um, but I think does that program sound like a good one or I think that's a great thing like we have a guy that runs a new magazine he just bought this magazine from a girl it's called Refined Magazine he is brilliant and, and he yeah. does his own graphic design for people. If you buy a program, a, a page in his magazine, you get this for this much, and you do this for this much. I said, you're brilliant, but the way that you put this all together is way better than Susan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Much more he, initiative. Because he goes, you can't charge people $5,000 for a cover, but you can sell them an inside page for a 1000 bucks and offer them the cover for an extra 200 Yeah. Because if you don't sell the page, cover for 5000 then you've got no money. That's right. But if you sell the inside, then offer them the cover. You're getting so much more enthusiasm from it. So yeah. he's one of our hub factors. Okay. Yeah. So, so again, sort of going back to the time of really looking at the, that map I sent you of the 11 by 17 for you to look at, you know, this is something which we, we haven't completed yet. And I was starting with it and it needs to be one of the most important things if we're designing your ideal job where you're going, you know, I'm working Thursday seven to nine, and I'm making five hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, I'm working. You know, what times during the week, or during like the four weeks, are you working where you're making money, and when are the times when you're not making money? And you have to distinguish that, and then we have to figure out how to get you to make the money during the times you want to make the money. Yeah. So you're not you're coming back sort of reverse engineering from your ideal use of time and ideal use of money. Mm -hmm. And that that's something which at some point we have to you have to do it and then we have to go through the the detailing of what okay. that is. Yeah, what that's looking like. Okay. Because <laughs> everything like then we can compare that to the program for the year. <clears throat> that what we're looking for is again that that cycle, you know, you, you're going through the four week cycle, you know exactly what you're doing, and then we create the marketing cycles, you know, three weeks ahead of time for everything. Yeah. And then, so you start to get into your systematic consistencies, right? Yeah. So then hopefully you guys will have exactly what you want and then you can't blame me if you get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we yeah. cannot wait. We can't blame you all. Hmm. So, okay, the, the fourth, the harmony question. Okay. So that, the question is, how do we build the info matrix online or how do we create an online presence for the info matrix and out to the world there's okay. your international media oh my lord what's that community community media in the center point yeah uh, international, international media. media oh international media international in the center in wow hey that's coming up a lot for us. It is, yeah. For, okay, for a the individual's inner world. Science. Okay. A systematic knowledge of the physical or material world gained through observation and experimentation. Okay. We just talked about that today. Yeah, we did the science. For B. Oh, we need his relationship to an individual's behavior. Spirituality. Oh. Spirituality. Yeah, and for B. All spiritual activity which drives the human being forward towards some form of development or advance of their present state. Wow. Oh wow. I like the meaning of that one. Okay, and then we're for C, which is relationship to team. Illumination. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh, look, she chose marketing in synergy and illumination in harmony. <laughs> wow. I love it. The enlightening of society through peaceful and educational ways that gives an alternative to normal politics. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> That's huge. Okay, for D. Whoops. The community's relationship to others. The community's key relationship is health very nice the overall condition of an organization organization or organism organism of a given time oh. wow mm. wow so how do we build an online presence we do it internationally 
we do it with science and spirituality by ex yeah so science through experimentation and observation and advancing the present state of pe people's spirituality and we are giving people an alternative to normal politics which illuminates the science of spirituality and gives and helps. It's a, just a healthier way to think, to be. Right? It's a world of experimental. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, organism at a given time. Oh. Holy schmoly. Um, Holy is right. So, here, let me. Uh, let me just stop this 